Hey guys, this is a 2006 Mitsubishi Evolution SE. In this video, I'll show you guys how much this car weighs, my driving impressions, I'll even teach you how to use launch control and show you the best quarter mile time driven by the owner of the car so you get an actual real world number. But most importantly, I'll explain why I believe the SE version of the Mitsubishi Evolution is the best. The Evolution was Mitsubishi's answer to the Subaru WRX and STI, but which version was the best? In the US, we received several versions of the Evolution 9, the first being the standard with an option for the SSL package, which is sun, sound, and leather, the second being the RS, Rally Sport, which has no ABS and is a stripped down version, saving you weight, the third being the top of the line MR version with an appearance package. Now, the one that's overshadowed is the SE version. But let's talk quickly about the MR version before I get onto the SE version. The MR version has a six speed manual transmission, which is great because it allowed it to have a higher top speed and was much better for cruising on the highway. The issue though, was that the six gears were crammed into the transmission case, causing the upper gears to be thinner and weaker. Well, the answer to the MR is the SE. The SE had most of the MR's features, but came with a more durable five-speed manual transmission with close gear ratio, which was revised from the Evolution 8. The most significant features on the SE version is this front lower lip. The front seats also have red stitching, which includes the rear seats, and all four wheels are a black diamond color. As I've stated earlier, the MR version does have an option for these items in the appearance package. Mitsubishi Evolution 9, also known under chassis code CT9A, was the last Evolution to use the 4G63 turbo engine. It was rated at 287 horsepower and 289 pounds-feet of torque. The best part about this engine was that it had an iron block, which meant that if you were trying to make more power, you wouldn't need to sleeve it like aluminum blocks. Also, the heads flowed really well stock. The Evolution 9's 4G63 engine has MIVEC, which is Mitsubishi's term for variable timing control. You can see by this bulge right here. It's located on the intake side and you can tell because of the intake manifold right there. The exhaust side does not have MIVIC and you can see there is no bulge at this location. The RS, MR and SE has an aluminum roof to lower the weight and it also helps lower the center of gravity. Now going to the back, it has anti-vortex generators to diffuse the air going to the rear wing to create downforce. Now in this case, the owner took the rear wing off because it also creates drag and he'll be drag racing, so it should help increase his trap speeds. Now let's go see how much this car weighs. But before I do that, I wanna let you guys know that this car does have an aftermarket ACT six puck clutch and heavy duty disc with aftermarket aluminum intercooler piping from ETS, Swift Springs, and a downpipe. Let's see how much it weighs, but first, let me show you guys the fuel gauge. As you can see, we're just above a full tank of gas. So we are at 3,245 pounds with a full tank of gas. Before I give my driving impressions, let's talk about the Evolution in the US first. We did not get the active yaw control here, but we did get the active center differential, which started in 2005. The button is located just to the left of the gauge cluster right here. Now with the active center differential, we can go through three modes, tarmac, gravel, and snow. We're currently on tarmac, and I'm gonna press it so we can go to gravel, then I'm gonna press it again, then we'll go to snow, and I'm gonna press it again to go back to tarmac. Now the all-wheel drive is split 50-50, so there's no biasing like you would find on the Subaru STI. Check this out, on the driver's side door, it has stickers warning you of its performance. And also, this sticker informs you how to use the active center differential. First impression, sitting down, the seats hug really well. The steering is really quick also. The hood is really short, and that's probably due to the transverse engine layout in the front. Now, if it was a longitudinal layout, the hood would be much longer. Driving on the highway in fifth gear, I feel the need to shift into six which I do not have because this is the close ratio five speed. My current speed is about 68 miles per hour at 
3,100 RPM. And here's where the fun starts. It pulls really nice. Wow. You can feel the traction in the front pulling with the rear. Here's a turn. Slight body roll, but it's fine. Now we're going to go through these turns right here. The brakes don't seem to be as responsive or as good as I thought they were because when I step on the brake pedal, it doesn't seem to stop the car that well. But at the same time, I don't know what kind of pads are in this car. It does feel glued to the ground and very agile as I'm driving. I can tell you the traction in this car gives you a lot of confidence through the turns. It feels much lighter than it really is because you guys saw the weight. I weighed it at 3,200 pounds. And now I have trucks in front of me, so the fun ends there. As far as drag racing goes, the best time was achieved with the launch control feature. Make sure you're aware of the clutch engagement points beforehand. To use it, you'll want to first step on and hold the clutch pedal down with your left foot and shift your transmission into first gear. Step on the gas pedal firmly with your right foot so the RPM rises quickly and you'll hear it activate at about 5500 RPM. Release the clutch pedal from your left foot when you're ready and prepare for the next upshifts. The 60 foot comes in at 1.9 seconds, 0 to 60 miles per hour at 5 seconds, with the 1 8 mile right behind it at 5.6 seconds. The quarter mile ends at 13.7 seconds at 99.1 miles per hour. The Mitsubishi Evolution is a great car to buy in the used market. I like its edgy four-door body style. Now which version do you buy? Do you buy the standard? Do you buy the RS? Do you buy the SE? Or do you buy the MR? Well, my preference, as you've seen in this video, would be to get the SE. The SE has most of the MR's features and it also comes with the more durable revised close ratio 5-speed manual. Now, if you're buying an Evolution in the used market, make sure you check it thoroughly because most Evolutions have been modified and you don't want to buy someone's unfinished project. This platform can get expensive, so what I would suggest doing first is just mild mods. If you have more money to modify, then more power to you. Which leads to the next thing I'm going to talk about. Now, the weak point in the Evolution is the transfer case. Some people have made a lot of power with it. Some people have broken its stock so it's questionable. So if you plan to put more mods on it or make more power, I would suggest you sending it in and getting it rebuilt to make it stronger. The next weak point is the transmission. It's also questionable, but if you plan to make more power, I would send it in to get rebuilt so that it's stronger. The Evolution platform itself can get expensive, so just make sure you have the funds available when something does happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Mitsubishi Evolution SE. Hit that like button if you did and subscribe for future content. I'll see you in the next video.